Hello the internet, my name's Lara and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a top five houseplants that have brought me joy during the month of October. That's right, it's time for another plant appreciation video. I love these because they kind of just allow me to really just show off plants that I want to show off because generally the ones I want to show off are the ones that are bringing me joy so it works out it's really nice I love it okay so we're just gonna start wherever I'm not really doing these in any particular order they're just there okay so first one I want to show you is a tiny little guy this is my pendicula you can see it right there. Some of you may remember that this plant used to be much, much better looking. Um, I, I bought it and it was wonderful. It was just one rosette. It was really beautiful. I was keeping it in a little glass jar with some sphagnum moss on the bottom of it. It flowered for me. It was beautiful. And then one day, in insanity... I mean, it really can only be expressed as insanity. I decided to pull it out of there and um, basically what happened is that, is that it still had some vermiculite from when I had bought it. And I thought that that was restricting the growth of the roots because the roots weren't going down into the um, sphagnum moss on which it was sitting. And so I kind of pulled those... Um, I pulled the vermiculite out from the roots and I'm pretty sure that it, I, the plant just like hated that and it just started dying and I was like oh my god this plant is dead I've killed it because I just was messing around with the roots then I put it back in the jar I didn't put enough sphagnum moss it didn't stay wet because it dried out like the I had enough sphagnum moss in there before that it stayed wet that I could but this but this time there wasn't enough sphagnum moss it dried out really quick the plant just like <laughs> And I was pretty sure it was dead. And so I stuck it in this little container that I had these little drosera in. You can see the drosera in there too. They, they are also joyful. But anyway, I stuck it in there and I was just like, I'm just going to leave it. Um, it sits in this little thing of water like all the time. So there's always water in it. I didn't have to worry about it drying out. I was just like, it's just going to sit there. I'm not going to touch it. And that's what I did. And then eventually it started growing what you can see there. Um, so there's two little rosettes, it looks like, oh no, three little rosettes. Um, I have no idea whether they are growing out of the original plant or if some of the, they're like, I basically propagated it and they're growing out of some of the leaves. I don't know. All I know is that the plant is still alive and I'm very happy. Um, and I'm just, I'm not going to touch it I'm not going to touch it for as long as possible because obviously it's it's kind of getting a little crowded in there with like the drosera, like there's three, are there three? Yeah, there's three drosera in there. One of them is like super tiny down in this corner. Can, you, can I keep it so you can see it? See that tiny, tiny little drosera? There's three drosera in there and the one ping. Um, and so, I don't know. I don't know how fast I'm going to run out of space in here and I'm going to need to move them. Maybe I'll move the drosera instead of moving the ping. But anyway, I'm super happy that I didn't kill this plant um, because I hadn't even ever gotten around to taking, um, like taking propagations of it. I was, I was getting ready to do that and then I did whatever I did with the roots. Just don't mess with the roots. Don't mess with roots unless there's a problem, people. I know, I should take my own advice. This is why I'm telling you, don't make the same mistakes that Laura has made. <laughs> okay, so that was my one of my house plants that is bringing me the most joy because it is alive, it is doing well. I'm not touching it. Okay, another of the plants that I have that has been bringing me joy is this Brantianum. This leaf is starting to look a little rough, but. I have gotten a brand new leaf. It is tiny. It is adorable. I'm okay with it being small. And it is, oh, I'm not even sure if you guys can see. There we go. 
and there's a, a new baby leaf growing there. It hasn't started coming out yet, but it, it's, it's working well. Um, and, you know, when you get a cutting like this, it's not unusual for the first leaf or two to be just smaller than the, than the original. But I have it. It's doing well. Even in this tiny pot, I'm managing to keep it watered well enough. And it's just so pretty. I just love that silver, you know? Um, so I, I'm very joyful that I have gotten this new beautiful leaf and that a, another new beautiful leaf will be coming out at some point. And soon I will have a huge plant. Not, <laughs> I know, it'll be a little while, but I've got the plant and that's what matters. So, all right. This one is down here. We knew that one of my primulinas had to be in this video. And of course, it's going to be the Primulina Rachel because this is the one that is blooming like mad cakes. I mean, she is blooming so crazy. And then there's two more little stalks over here that are like growing. So like even when these ones are spent, they seem to be hanging on for a decent amount of time. Um, I want to say the flowers last at least a couple weeks. Um, cause I only just now have the first two that bloomed have fallen off and all the rest of them are still on here and they still seem to be going pretty strong. Um, so that's nice in that the plant, you know, it does, it's not like it blooms and then the blooms are spent like really quickly. They actually do hang around for a little while and I've got a little bit of yellowing on, on these bottom leaves. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Um, but you know, we'll keep in. Keep an eye on it and um, we'll keep an eye on it. And right now she's just blooming beautifully for me. So I don't think it's anything, any big issues. Um, but anyway, this plant, this beautiful primulina has been bringing me much joy because flowers. Then we've got a big one. Oh, this is my Ficus, I'm pretty sure it's actually a ficus burgundy um, because it does have the red um, vein down the middle and on some of the leaves they've got a little, like you kind of see it's got like a little red hint to it. Um, but for the most part these leaves are just gorgeous with their variegation on them. And this is one of my newer leaves here. And this is the other new leaf. And I just so much enjoy watching these guys come out. And then they come out and they're, it's like a nice, it's not the vibrant green that you would see from like the actual ficus teneki. Like those are like a vibrant green. These are more of a blue green, which I almost kind of prefer. And I assume, if this is how it works but I assume that's because of the the burgundy part of it um I don't know I'm just guessing there that it's slightly less vibrant green because of like something about the red anyway I am just so in love with this plant because you know the, the leaves are gorgeous and then as they get older they start out kind of closer to green and then as they get older it turn they actually turn more and more blue to where like the older leaves like are they're I mean they're not blue blue obviously like a greenish blue but still I love blue so I've just been enjoying watching this plant um, put out new leaves I mean they come out pretty pretty consistently really um, not a hard plant to take care of at all and I know that the only reason that this one isn't more popular is just because it's fairly easy to find you know they're not they're not hard to find they're not they're not expensive but this plant gives me a lot of joy and so I wanted to share it with you okay and the last plant um, I did leave it into a last on purpose um, plant that is bringing me joy right now is my <laughs> begonia pink minx. Um, this plant, like I cannot get over just how gorgeous it is. Like it's just so pink. The leaves are just such an awesome 
shape. And it's obviously, it came through the mail and it's really rough. I mean, you can see these things, but it's also putting out like so much new growth. Um, there, the leaf on the top there that that's just coming out and just being absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, I'm really, really happy with this plant. Um, God, that leaf is gorgeous. <laughs> Sorry, I got lost a little bit in the plant. Hmm. But anyway, yeah, this guy is doing really, really well. I was, I was a little worried when he came in, but the plant was still healthy. It was just, you know, it was just kind of banged up and I've never really had a problem from any plants I've gotten from Steve's leaves. So I, I pretty much knew it was going to be okay, but I'm just so excited for this plant to just get bigger and bigger until it's as big as my begonia lucerna over there where it's just, oh my gosh, I can't even imagine these leaves that big. It's going to take a while. <laughs> it's it's going to take a little while, but that's okay. I am more than willing to wait for this. Um, I'm just so happy about this plant. So anyway, those are the plants right now that are bringing me the most joy. I just can come down here and I look at them and they just, they just make me happy. And that's, you know, what part of the reason why I have plants is so that I can look at them and they make me happy. So, um, so you know, let me know what, what plants you guys have that make you the most happy. Which ones bring you joy whenever you look at them? And it changes. This is why I do this like on different months because obviously, you know, one might be growing super, super well and you're just like, oh my gosh, it's so wonderful. And then the next month, a different plant is like growing really, really well and making you super happy. So, you know, for right now, what right now is making you the most happy? I'd love to hear what you guys say. Um, you know, just to see what types of plants people are just having lots of, lots of joy with. Um, but, so if you like this video, go ahead and like this video. And if you want to stick around and see what other plants I will have in the future that will bring me joy, then go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for spending some of your time with me today and seeing, seeing the plants that are bringing me joy. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right, bye-bye.